Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I did a poll on Instagram to see whether you'd like to see a Valentine's Day look or a Galentine's Day look. And guess what one? Galentine's. Um, you could wear this on a date if you want. <laughs> but I feel like this is a really good look for a girly night out. It's a look that I would rock. I know it's a lot of makeup, but I love makeup. And I like to just experiment with colors and glitters and you know, that's just how I roll. So if you'd like to see how I got to this look, all the things that I used, stay watching and please give me a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe. So I'm going to start with the eyes because I'm going to be using black and some colour, possibly some glitter. Ooh. So um, I don't want all the fallout so we're going to have to put up with this bare face until we get some glam on. I'm going to prep my eyes with some concealer. This is the Born This Way one, multi-use sculpting concealer by Too Faced. And this is the colour Porcelain. I'm just going to pack this on so we have a really nice face to work with. Beauty sponge. Okay, so I am going to start off with a P. Louise base. Um, it's this one, dark side, it's black. And I'm gonna, where can I squeeze this out? I'm gonna put some on here. And this is just exactly the same as their coloured ones, which I've got some of them here, these ones, but in black. And um, it's just going to make the black really intense so you don't have to spend a lot of time building it up. I'm going to take a brush from Peewee's, this is their Acid Rain. Um, and then I'm going to start packing this all over the lid. And I'm going to kind of follow the shape of my eye. And then I'm gonna take it out, wing it out a little bit here. So that's the kind of shape that I want. I'm just gonna get rid of that because that's gonna annoy me later. This is the kind of shape that I want. I'm gonna do the same on the other eye. So now I've kind of got the shape that I want. I'm going to put the black aside for a minute. And I'm going to move into a palette. I've bought two palettes today. I'm going to start off with the 39L Hit the Lights Morphe palette. I'll show you what it looks like. This is the palette. I'm just going to be going in with the black that's in here. I'm going to take a smallish brush so that I can pack that on. This one, it's got no name, just a random little flat brush. Um, I'm gonna go in with the black shade and I'm gonna start packing this over the top. It just makes such a difference when you use a base. If you haven't got um, the P. Louise one, you can just use like a black coal pencil and then um, do the same thing with that. And I'm keeping this just on the lid. I'm not taking it all the way over that black. So it will make it really difficult to blend it out after. Like that. Okay, so now I'm going to get a fluffy brush. I think I'm going to go in with, 
I might start with this one. This is a MAC 221, and I've also got the Smith 235, which is a lot fluffier. Let's start off with a smaller one. I think I'm going to use this colour. It's called In Lust, and it's that shade there. Because the purple is really dark in this palette, and I don't know if I want that. So let's try this. I'm going to just take this over the black that I've laid down. I'll probably get a purple look anyway from it. It's just doing really small circular motions all the way along that line. Now I'm going to go back in with a bit of the black. Adding any more shadow, I'm just going to start blending the pink colour into the black. And now I'm going to pick up this other fluffy brush and to blend the pink slash purple out, I'm just going to get more of a neutral colour. I've gone back to the Morphe palette now and I'm going to take this shade here. And I'm just going to use this shade to start buffing it out. So I feel like that's kind of where I need it to be. So, uh, because I've got my mild OCD, I'm going to clean this up. You don't need to do this yet, but it's just going to get on my nerves, so I'm going to do it. Okay, so that is that. And now I need to, I don't know if I brought an eyeliner with me, but I didn't. I don't, think I, did. I don't know if you can use this in the water line. Try it. Hopefully my eyes don't react to this because I've been getting a lot of reactions lately. I'm just going to tap this in the waterline. And then I'm going to take some more of that pigment and I'm going to run it underneath the lash line here so it's joined from this little wing here. I'm going to join that up and then Okay, and then I'm going to get a small fluffy brush. This is a Morphe M506. It's just a really soft little fluffy brush. And I'm going to go back into the Morphe palette. Well, I'm going to try this one here. It's like an orangey red. Look at that. And I'm going to start blending this underneath here.
bit more of the red. I'm just going to keep adding this until I get enough colour underneath the black and that they're both blended together. That's it. And then I'm going to go back to the fluffy brush that I had originally and I'm just going to start like meshing these colours together on this outer corner. I'm going to take the small fluffy brush that I was using earlier with the black and I've took a little bit more black and I'm literally just going to paint, place this here just to deepen this out of there here. I'll do the same on the other eye. And then back to the fluffy brush, let's buff these edges. So that is the eyeshadows complete. I just like to go over them at the end, like when I'm happy with it, I just like to go in for one more blend just to make sure that everything's blended together. Okay, um, and now for the fun bit, woohoo! I'm gonna go in with some pigment, possibly some glitter. I haven't decided yet, let's see how we get on. I've got some nice pigments here from, let's forget the name of this company. Peaches and cream, that's it, yeah. So I think I'm going to try Ruby. Let's kind of stick with the red theme that I've got going on, kind of. Um, but I might add a little bit of fantasy. These are really pretty, like, look at that. I'm going to try not to spill it. These. I love colour, it gets me really excited. Okay, so I normally work with these with a damp brush. Let me get a little tiny one, this little tiny one here, which is a C212 detailed mini chisel brush. I don't know where it's from. I forgot to add that bit. Right, so I've wet my little tiny brush. I'm scared to do this in case I mess it up, because I feel like I should go in with the iridescent one, because that's going to go off. But I do really, really want to try the red. Love it. I love this colour. I still might try and squeeze some of that oh, I'm not gonna lie. But that is absolutely incredible, isn't it? Wow. Okay, so with this, I'm just gonna apply it in tiny little areas until I get to where I'm kind of going with this because I don't actually know where I'm going. I'm not doing, a, um, I don't want to do a cut crease, I just want to kind of have this in here. So for this part, I'm going to go back to the black eyeshadow brush. I've not put anything on it. I'm just going to try, kind of pat this to try and blend these shades in a little bit. But I think I'm going to put a little bit of glitter there anyway, which will help out. And I'm just going to kind of put this on where that shade ends. 
And then I'm going to take some of the glitter on the little brush and I'm just going to start off with a little bit because I don't want to get too excited and ruin this whole look. I'm just patting that over that gel. Right, so that is done. I feel like these glitters would just never run out because how much glitter can we use? It's quite a big tub. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Now, for underneath, I am going to add a little bit more of the red colour and I'm just going to go under here with it. So now I'm going to clean up and I'm going to put some mascara on and some lashes. So a little bit of mascara, I'm just using the Fenty one that I got recently. Just going to do a few coats of this and then pop on some lashes. So for this look, I need some big lashes. So I think I'll go in with my Anastasia lashes from Doll Beauty. I've already used these ones, um, but I kept them nice in the little box they come in. So I'm just gonna pop those on. Lashes are on. And now for the base, um, I'm gonna, what am I gonna do? I haven't been wearing a lot of skincare lately because I started having skin problems. I'm on antibiotics for it at the moment. And they have told me not to use skincare, but when I do my makeup, I can't help it. I have to put a little bit on. So I've already got a little bit of moisturizer on my face. Um, I think I might use it because I'm scared though because I've never used this before but this says two in one primer and setting spray in stuff fix and go so Rimmel if you mess with this might be good right foundation where is it I'm still liking this um, the primer silk canvas by I still don't know how to pronounce this brand Tatcha, Tatcha, love it. I just take it like that, rub it together, and then I just put it in the center of my face where my pores are big, and they're big. I hate my pores. I'm seriously considering having a skin pill because they're just so pory, like, and I'm just sick of it. They show up in pictures. Okay. Um, the foundation that I'm using is Barcelona NARS. This is probably still going to be too dark for me, and this is the lighter shade. Foundation brush, I'm just going to start blending this in. I'm going to use a light concealer today and it's number two, Cakeless Concealer from Benefit.
beauty sponge, start patting this in. Right, so now that concealer is um, blended in, I'm going to quickly set it so it doesn't move around. Oh, Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder. So I'm just going to set under my eyes. Not anywhere else at the moment, but just here. I hate the smell of this powder. It smells like it's off. Right, so I will come back to the powder room, but I just wanted to do that little bit. I'm gonna do a little bit of cream contour. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this, nothing too crazy, just warm up the face. Oh my God, I know you're so sure what's going on. <laughs> I'm gonna get a surprise. Maybe it's a Valentine's surprise. Ooh, what am I getting for Valentine's Day? I know it's that. What's everyone doing on Valentine's Day? Nice dates. I obviously haven't got anything planned for Valentine's Day at this moment. I might actually avoid it, you know. I am going on a girls' night out though on Saturday. So I can rock my glittery eyes for my Galentine's night out. Okay, I'm feeling better with a bit of glow. Okay, that's that. Right, I'm gonna set everything now. I'm going to do my powder and bronzer. Let's just set this face. Taking the Hoola Caramel, I'm just going to go over that. I'm not going to put too much of this on because it is really pigmented. Just, it looks like a lot of it actually. I'm literally just tapping it. It's how intense this is. Hard to get and sassy and cute, aren't we? We're so cute. I think that's enough. So that is the bronzing done. Just need some blush. Um, and then I'm gonna go back in on my eyes. I'm gonna start this blush here. Because this blush is so pigmented. Like look, I literally tapped that. A little goes a long way. So if I start up a little bit higher, don't get the clown vibes right on the cheek. Lovely. Right, for highlight, I brought in one that's got a pink shift in it. This is Pat McGrath. It's just their highlighting palette. It looks like that. They use this one, iridescent and like pinky. Just gonna take one of my dull beauty brushes. A little bit of that right here. Um, and then, because it would be rude not to, I'm going to use a little bit of my all-time favourite product in the whole world. If I had to have one makeup product for the rest of my life, it would be this, Spotlight Lips Artist Couture. I'm obsessed with it. I can't do a makeup look without this product. And I realise you can do it with a brush, but you're meant to do it with your finger. Take the pearls on your finger, and then you do it like this for maximum... Pigment. Something to do with the heat blends it all in. Look at that. It's like wet. Obviously, I know this is a lot of makeup and people are probably thinking, what the fuck? But on a Galentine's night out, I feel like you can get away with doing whatever you want in a single girl gang. 
yeah, so I need to put my brows on and then I'll be back because that's boring. I've done it loads of times. You know how I roll with that now. And then I will be back to do the lips. And that's it. So that's the eyebrows on and I just done a very light nose contour and my normal nose highlight. So that's that done. Um, I'm just gonna do my lips now. I'm gonna keep them quite neutral. Got a few options here. So I think I'm gonna use, well you know I'm gonna use this, obviously, because it's my favourite lip liner. Sharpen it a little bit. This is the Buxom Sue, can't remember the name, undercover. So I'm just gonna outline my lips. And then, I don't think I brought any lipstick. I did bring two lip glosses. I can't remember what this one looks like. This is the NARS Orgasm Lip Gloss. I think this was quite bright. And I've also got the Artist Couture Le Freak. So, they're really similar. I think I use this one. It's really pretty, this lip gloss. Love it, that is so pretty. I'll show you what it looks like. It's really, really nice. Okay, I'm gonna fix my hair and I will be back. Guys, so this is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you try it out, please tag me so that I can see. Um, I'm loving it. I'll definitely wear this look, and I think that eye colour, green, hazel, blue, really makes some pop. Um, when I do colours like this, people always ask me if I've got contact lenses in, which I haven't, but it's just the colours, it just brings out more colour in your eyes. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Bye, guys.